In 2015, the United Nations General Assembly officially launched the Sustainable Development Goals. Over 150 world leaders representing 193 countries committed to working towards these SDGs through their policies. The implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development has gathered pace and momentum in the country. The country is pursuing the whole of government and the whole of society approaches to facilitate an integrated approach and ensure that no one is left behind. Cycle for SDGs is an innovative brainchild of Africa Speaks, where a cyclist will cycle for their favorite SDG. But why cycling? Cycling promotes uh, uh, good health and uh, well-being. And also why sport? Because sport is a unifier. It brings people together. And young people, they love sport. We are going to enjoy the pain. We call it enjoy the pain. And we love it. My name is uh, Tafaz Wamale. I'm the Public Information Officer, uh, United Nations Information Center in Harare, Zimbabwe. For us, as the United Nations Information Center, we found it very, very important to support Africa Speaks as they undertook the cycling for SDGs. Sustainable Development Goals are a universal agreement uh, to end poverty in all its forms and to create a world that is equal that is just and that is secure for all nations and all people, irregardless of race, of gender, or location. So this is what they are. Really, they provide hope for all of us going into the future and uh, are expected to be fulfilled by the year 2030. The event started at the Embassy of the Republic of Malawi, who are also the current SADC chair with speeches from the Ambassador for Malawi, His Excellence Maiwayo Polepole, United Nations Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator Edwin Cullen, and a representative of the Ministry of Youth. Allow me to thank my brother Ambassador Polepole for his consistent leadership in making the Cycling for SDG campaign a truly regional initiative by bringing together embassies of the SADC countries based in Harare. We are so grateful to uh, the association, the Cyclist Association, uh, Africa Speaks and the Tafata for the work that they have done. Let me also uh, recognize uh, the contribution from all SADC you know, ambassadors, uh, all the embassies that are, are resident here in the, um, Harare. They have also contributed uh, quite a lot. After the cutting of the ribbon, by Mr. Callon, the cyclists began their journey on SDG branded bicycles. They made several stops along the way to interact with people, with a major stop being in Marondera, 80 kilometers east of Harare, where 20 local cyclists, the town's mayor, resident ministers, representatives, and other officials joined them in cycling 500 meters for the SDGs. There are 17 SDGs and uh, they cover a, a wide uh, number of areas. For example, SDG 1 is looking at the whole issue of ending poverty in all its forms. SDG 2 is looking at ending hunger for all. Um, SDG 3 is looking at uh, the whole issue of uh, well-being and health for all people. Um, SDG 4 is looking at quality education and SDG 5 is looking at the issue of gender equality. And we mustn't mention that cycling for SDGs originated from Marondera in 2016 when six cyclists cycled from Marondera, Sari, to Harare over a distance of 55 kilometers, including an 11-year-old Timote Dashimani Kire of Marondera. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals, they emphasize the need to leave no one behind. So this event, which is taking place today and tomorrow, aims to emphasize the need that everybody should do something, should take action to work towards eradicating poverty, but also to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Our intention is to use the same cyclists 
if everything goes well, to cycle from here, from Harare, to the chair of SADC in Malawi, passing through Zambia and Mozambique. <laughs> After that, with the assistance of our friendly donors like UN, we also want to take the message from our region, SADC, to other regions, and preferably Comesa region and the IGAD. So cyclists, we are grateful and we are proud of you. I want to thank you for the, for the dedication and commitment. You are our ambassador of spreading this message. Number three, good Favorite SDG, and you might be your SDG number two. Naga. The cyclists reached Mutare on Sunday, the 8th of May, after an overnight stop in Rusabi. It was in Mutare that the ambassador for Tanzania, His Excellency Professor Emmanuel Mbena, who was acting SADC chair, launched the SADC region cycling for SDGs. I'm Andy Pasquari, former Olympian. So my favorite uh, SDG was on the environment. Because without a good environment, then the health won't be very well. That was my very, very favorite. And because, of course, it was a bit challenging. Now, as the minister responsible for the youth in Zimbabwe, I call upon the young people to rise to the challenge and participate in the implementation of SDGs. These remarks, ladies and gentlemen, are based on the closing of the initial cycle for SDGs, SADC, and the launch of the project to cycle for SDG Africa.